Jake Oliver. What a play from Jake Oliver. And Madison Troy! Tie game! That's in play down the third baseline. Peter makes the great play from Peter McNeil. Justice already took advantage of that. What a play over at third. He's heading home. Oh, he's and out. He's gonna be out. Jordan Rice takes out Trey Clugston. <laughs> Flips it over to first and still gets Alex Harden. Cross, get out, ball later. Two. And he might have just missed it. Caught and run from Jordan Wright. That's a fair ball to Jake. What a play from Jake Oliver.
in play. That's a fair ball to Jake. Oh, what a play from Jake Off. And that is his run. Yes, I game. That's in play down the third base line. Peter makes a great play from Peter McNeil. To that. What a play over at third. That's in play. And he might have just missed it. Caught and run from Jordan Wright. Get out ball later! And that ball is out of here! Walk off home run! Oh, top of the out is where it's coming home. Oh. And that's a shot! Oh. Zach Hobart! He's heading home for oh, his out! Oh. 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 Flips over the first, I don't know if I left. Hello everyone, welcome to AWA Wiffle Ball. Brock is just getting situated here. We're gonna get underway a little shortly. We're running a little behind schedule here, but uh, should get this going underway as soon as we figure out the lineups and stuff. So just bear with us for a little bit. Ooh. Got Today, oh, oh. A little miscommunication there. Today we've got the Metropolitan Mojo against the Pacific Pilots. Mojo's 12 and 12, Pilots 17 and 7. They're number one in the league, hoping to hold on here. My name is Brock Blayhouse. And I'm Alex Harden. And we are going to be up here in the booth today, keeping you guys in on this live on this uh, pretty pretty nice Wednesday evening here in Edmonds, Washington. For the Pilots lineup, we've got DJ Oliver starting off as pitcher. Third base, we got Mark Campanero. Second base, Keaton McKay. First base, Josh Campanero. And the DH, we got Brad McGinnis. And heading on over to the Mojo lineup. Pitching, we got Dominic DeMiro, who's been an absolute workhorse for this team when they have availability as far as players goes. Second base, we got Alex Hatch. Third base, Austin Whitehouse. And uh, we've got Alex Hatch's uh, twin doppelganger at first base as well. There's two Alexes. And the pilots will take the field, getting started for the first inning here. And for any viewers on TikTok, Make sure to go to our link, our bio, there's a link, and it'll take you to the YouTube, which is a much better view, viewing experience. 
chat with other AWA fans. DJ Oliver is going to be starting off as pitcher. If you look at his stats, he's uh, doing pretty good. 1.55 ERA. Hoping to keep that nice and low today. The Pilots are getting off of a, uh, didn't they take the L against us? I don't know. I wasn't here. I th was I? Oh, two. S so, wait, the l so they lost. Lost the past two series. So I'm hearing through my, oh, that's this. Let's go here. I'm hearing through my little, what? Oh, no, 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 no. that's all good. Hearing through my little earpiece that the, the pilots are actually on a two series losing streak. They just lost to the enforcers in, uh, in the previous matchup. They lost against the Nighthawks. So they're hoping to get back to where they were and we'll get uh, we'll get started here we are ready for the first pitch yeah thanks boss <laughs> And pitch one will be a strike for DJ Oliver. Two and oh. And that'll be a ball, one and two. Looks like there's a little spider web on our camera. We're going to have to go swipe that here in a little bit. That'll put us up to I two and two. I have two, two. Three and two here. And that'll be a no pitch. A little too hot for the speed gun. Unfortunate. Oh, and he will not go. And he will waltz on over to first base. Wow. Wow. Great start to the game so far. Great start to the game. Yeah, that's what I was seeing. Where's my Started off with a swing and a miss. Oh, that's a line drive to Keaton. Keaton's not able to catch it, but he will throw it at Dom to get him out. One out here. The top of the first, game one. Pilots versus Mojo. Scoreboard's wrong. It's actually not two outs. It's one out. And that first pitch is right down the middle. One strike. So Brock, what's your uh, what's your analysis of DJ Oliver as a pitcher? You just went up against him, I'm pretty sure. You know, oh, and that is ripped and that's gone. That is pelted. That went over the 
far back <laughs> fence. And Alex Hatch will put the mojo up. One to zero. Two. Two to zero. Two to zero. My bad. <laughs> Golly. Sorry, we're still getting to the swing of yeah. things here. We were a little disorganized to start. Very disorganized. I mean, <coughs> one man show right now. And that will get him. Four pitches. That'll put it up to two outs. In the top of the first. Good looking pitch there from DJ. Battling back after the uh, monster home run that Alex Hatch just hit. Just a piss missile. Oof. That'll hit the zone. That's That one hurts right there. Not much you can do with that one. Back to what you were saying, though. I figured it out <laughs> on DJ. Figured it out. What would you figure out? What's your analysis? You got to go close to the plate. Mm -hmm. Crowd the plate. I'll have to remember that. Because all his pitches seem to hang a little bit outside. And if you're trying to swing the bat, like... Uh, what about that one? That was a little instant. Well, <laughs> yeah, but if you if he was crowding the plate, it would have hit him. It would have been fine. That's just me. And that'll go high. I got two and two here. Two outs, top of the first. Swing and a miss, and the pilots will get out of it. With a deficit of two. All right, we just got word from the production booth that all is well. We will be getting things moving along here. and we are back and ready to go. Demiro's on the mound. And McKee will lead him off here. That'll be high and inside. One ball. Inside again, 2-0. I mean, yeah. And that'll be a strike there. Three and one. And that'll be a nice soft lob. I He'll that stay one. in it. Full count here. Alex, 
from your unbiased perspective, who do you want to win today? Um, uh, <laughs> uh, the, 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 uh, the yellow team. Really? And that'll get him. Strike three. And my least favorite player will step up to the plate, Mark <laughs> Campanero. <laughs> One out. Th in a little bit from now, it's going to be two outs. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, Brock. Um, top five least favorite players in the AWA. Top five least favorite players. We got coming in at number one, Mark Campanero. <laughs> Number two, we got Mark Campanero. <laughs> Number three, we got Mark Campanero. I'll finish the rest of the list here in a second. Oh, and that's going to be hit on the ground. Third base, he's not able to do anything with it. He was fueled. He was fueled by the hate. I'm really just helping him. <laughs> Maybe I'm trying to help you, Mark. Mark, I don't care. What do you? There's no rivalry. Uh, last series you lost to us. <laughs> what are you winning? Two and zero. Or is it zero and two? It's two and zero. <laughs> okay. Man, this baseball commentating thing, you know. Yeah. I feel like I'm better at just chirping Mark. Maybe I, I should we just. Can, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Maybe I should just get a mic for every pilot's game and just sit over here and just <laughs> chirp him. <laughs> Be fouled back. At least we can uh, talk honestly about the two teams, unlike the uh, Orioles broadcast. Uh, wh what about that one? Oh, that's going to be hit oh, uh, the same spot. I can't Austin's think of the unable name. to do anything with it again. Can't think of the guy's name, but he's given some analysis of the Orioles. The owner of the Orioles didn't like it. Got him suspended. Really? Yeah. Pretty the stupid. higher ups, dude. That yeah. they're just working the. They're just working it. Just working them. That's what happens when you, uh, when the owner of the team also owns the network. Pretty silly, if you ask me. Yeah, that's that's just how it works here, man. You you really got to watch what you say. And we will be at. We have two, one, one strike, one and one. Still figuring out this scoreboard. I think the scoreboard's been right for a cumulative amount of time of, of like <laughs> four <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be hit right up to Dom. He'll hit, get the play at third. If it's delayed on your screen, it's not delayed. We're just very slow. <laughs> <laughs> No technical difficulties. Yeah, we're there's just, we're just bad at the job. The <laughs> yeah, the, the the live stream's actually working perfectly. It's just human error now. And now we got Brad who's taking a quick break from the Mariners pen to <laughs> play in this game. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Have you, have, you, have you seen Brad more at the pen than here? Yeah, dude. You've heard of Jim Rats. He's a pen rat. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll be a strike. <laughs> What's the count? God. <laughs> All right. Yes, Brad, Brad is an animal. I think I'm good. Oh, and that'll be up the third baseline, but it'll go foul. Ketchup and mustard combo. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's hilarious. You like that? Yeah, yeah. Brad's getting flamed by the production booth. <laughs> he said he's got the the ketchup and mustard outfit on, <laughs> sporting the vintage jersey. Dijon. 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 <laughs> how many how many outs are we at? Two. God. <laughs> Just when I thought I had <laughs> caught up. Count. What? What is the count? Ah, yes. I've got two on the screen now, and that'll get Brad out, and uh, the <laughs> mojo will retire the pilots. 
God, just killing commentating today. Just killing it. Yeah, I'd say we're doing a damn good job. Dude, we're doing a great job. Free Kevin Brown. That's the guy's name. Who? The Ooh. Orioles announcer. I wonder what he was saying. Literally nothing. Literally just... And we're back. That's a strike. Looking at the uh, the old chat over here. Oh, and that'll go up the first baseline. It'll stay fair, and he will toss it at Austin, and he will be out. Tough play there, tough roll, but sometimes these balls just spin like that. Sometimes the balls just spin like that. And let me just make sure. What? And that'll be ripped up the middle. Keaton will, wow, what a play. He'll field it cleanly right to first. That was a beautiful play by Keaton. He's just a black hole out there. A black hole. Yeah, sucks all those hits up, would be hits up. That's the, that's the nickname you're gonna give him? I don't know. The black hole. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't forget. <laughs> yeah, nice play first, too, by the younger Campanero. Out of Utah, Bothell. Jack's going to be so thrilled when he hears this commentary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm like doing. Oh, man. You see, I don't Houston even will go down swinging. That'll be three quick outs. As we move to the bottom of the second inning. Looks like the TikTok live was having a little bit of technical difficulties. We got to figure that. And we're back. <laughs> Bottom of the second. Keaton McKay will step up to the plate. It'll be a grounder. First base, Dominic's gonna cover, and he will get him. I think we'll look at the replay just one time. I think, I think the throw beat him by a step, but we'll make sure here. Yep, that'll be an out. Close, but no cigar. Keaton's pretty quick out of the box. That was a nice play by Houston and Dom. Guy's got some quick feet. You think he trains with, like, Absolutely. ladders? What a meatball that was. Mark, you're not going to go for that? Maybe if your arms were a little longer, huh? <laughs> You'll look at that pitch. Two... Mark Campanero, a perennial silver slugger candidate in, I think he won it last year, I'm pretty sure. Likely in the running this year as well. Don't have the stats in front of me, but. It was Jake. Oh, okay. the commissioner's in. That'll be a grounder to first base, and they'll get him. Somewhere looking play there. What are the odds of that? Looks like John Miller in the YouTube chat. He's got a question. Who's the dark horse to win it all? You can't Wolf choose pack, your oh. own team. I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the Wolf Pack. <laughs> you cannot you cannot be a bigger okay, underdog than the Wolf Pack right now. They are y you are sucking. <laughs> You're yeah. Trash. 
Um, I think there's probably like two Wolfpack fans out there in the world. And I'm one of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two and oh. And that'll go. Oh, just foul. That's very tough. <laughs> On the reel, though, I think uh, Stingers. Stingers? Could do it. Two or two one? Two one. Two one. Uh, oh, that Peter McNeil is absent. Meter McNeil. Meter McNeil. And that'll be ripped again, <coughs> but it'll be popped up to the first baseman. Nighthawks, too. Oh, hey. I'll just call him the quarter zip guy. Quarters if guy catches it at first. Just got back from his finance job. Mute that guy, fan him. Who? That guy. Which guy? <laughs> <laughs> this guy? <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Ubi Tuesday says, I didn't even know the Wolf Pack was an actual team. I thought they were a volunteer group of casuals <laughs> that role play a <laughs> wiffle ball team. That's comedy gold. I'm going to pin that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's hilarious. Stomp swings through that one. <laughs> one and one. That guy needs to get out here. Ubi Tuesday. Top corner right there. Hitting the upper 90. I don't know what that means. Soccer term. Oh. Yes, we are. It'll be popped up. It'll go foul. No outs. Yes, you're right. Two and two count. Two and two. What is a good midnight snack? Corn nuts. <laughs> Who's eating corn nuts at, at midnight? Me. You. <laughs> Corn nuts yeah, are corn nuts ass. Suck. That'll be high. Full count here. And that'll be fouled out again. He's staying in it. On the real though, Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its. Cheez-Its are good. Sponsor me, Cheez-Its. Sponsor the AWA. Please. We'll cover the whole center field wall, which is the big banner that says cheese it. Oh, foul back again. Great one. I would love that, dude. <laughs> I would love for us to just what if we got an like a ooh. Ball four. The walk, put a man on first. We're still at zero outs here. Mojo yeah, looking get to get some more. We could all wear cheese themed uniforms. Dude. <laughs> we'll get like a cheese it uh mascot and everything. Dude, or like an orange turf field. Ooh. That would be that'd be hideous, but you know, it'd work. It's Austin swings through two pitches there. Two pitches. DJ's hoping to get him out with a quick three. Not quite. I think he threw in the same pitch there, Austin laid off at this time. Boom. Three strikes and you're out. That's what they say, right? <laughs> that is what they say. And that'll put up the first out. Why are you going to have cold beans for a midnight snack? <laughs> Who is this? Timon? I'm banning you for that comment. Cold yeah, beans, dude. Really. You can do better than that. You can do a lot better. Alex Hatch will do a... At least heat him up. Big swing there. All I heard was... TJ Oliver is locked in since the first inning home run. Just That'll gets a piece. Tip it. Forgot you can't really kind of just put in a, a foul ball as a strike. I'm blowing it. <laughs> I'm blowing it. I'm not locked in today. That'll be ripped up the first base line. Dom is going to go to third.
Will he come in? No, he will not. Alex Hatch gets on base with a little. I think uh, I think Josh Campanero was a little uh, blinded by the runner there as Dominic ran by him. He lost the ball. Got by him. He's too quick. Yeah, lightning speed. And Houston will schmutz that pitch. <laughs> you like that? That's, That's pretty, pretty good. good. And he'll schmutz it again. One, two, three. DJ is locked in. This guy's got ice in his veins. Wow. Well, Alex, I had the opportunity to um, help a crew of AWA Wiffle Scouts go to the Mariners game yesterday. And let me tell you, not a lot of prospects. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of prospects. Who, if any, looked like a like like a quality player? Um, Mark Service. Mark Service. What am I saying? Scott <laughs> Service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he. Yeah, definitely, definitely, he's got it. He looks like a baller for sure. Oh, big time. Hit his little, yeah. hit his little, itty bitty elbow right there. <laughs> we did not. Talk to Julio Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm very jealous. Who else? Yeah, dude, I just don't think that the uh, I don't think baseball would translate into wiffle ball very well. You know? They just don't got that. I don't think they have that the stuff. wiffle strut, that that wiffle twinkle in their eye. Yeah, definitely not. Full count here. And that'll be ripped up to center field. Keaton's not able to grab it. He'll throw to third. Mark is also not able to handle it well. And that'll bring in a runner. Right? You saw that? You I saw did see that, I saw yeah. a guy come in. <laughs> <laughs> and that'll put the mojo up. Three. It was a, a low zip. screaming line drive from Dominic there. Keaton couldn't quite make the play out there. Just a little grass tickler. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, is that another soccer term? No. Oh, okay. See, he just came over that one if, on the spot. If we had, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if we had let that, if we had, uh, oh, that'll hit him. He's not going to charge. I would have <laughs> foul that back as well. Yeah, if we if we had let the grass grow a little bit more, would have been a ground ball. Dude, it would have been a ground ball. Would have been a. It's those little tiny things. Yeah. So is that a field maintenance guy W or L? That's a W. That'll get him. Strike three. Three strikes and you're out here in Wiffle Ball. That's what they say. That's the rules that we that we follow. We totally did not steal that from baseball. Nope. Totally original. Yeah. That'll take us into the bottom of the third. Does Brad have it today? Does he have it in him? Brad, you feeling icy? Feeling icy? I believe it. Believe it? No, not really. Not really, dude. Not really. If you have, if you have the opportunity to go on the mound, I wouldn't. Ubi Tuesday, stop it, man. I'm blushing. I'm blushing. Here we go. Bottom of the third. Pilots need runners. That was hard. That was a hard one to. Uh, that was difficult. difficult. You see that? Because <laughs> his back and went. You know? Quick, quick, easy two strikes. Josh was fooled on that one, it looked like. How's the coffee, Brock? Coffee's great. That'll be a ball. One and two. You want some coffee drinking ASMR? <laughs> there you go. You asked for it. Did you hear it? I ah. did hear it. Boom. Hits the zone. Strike three. Three strikes and you're out, right? Right, Alex? It's not four. 
It's not four. <laughs> is it two? <laughs> well, it might be four when we're up here sometimes. We might forget, but. Yeah, who knows? Could even be two. Might. Hopefully not, though. Brock, who's the favorite brother? Not me, dude. <laughs> I'm the bronze child. It'll hit the ground. And they call that a ball. Oh, that was a juicer. Hits off the top of the fence. It's crazy. You can get a hit like that, and he's still only on first base. That's what you get with a tiny field. I mean, it's only 105 out there, and he hit it about 500 miles an hour. <laughs> was that the exit velo on that? That was Close. impressive. 500 miles an hour off, the <laughs> off Brad's bat. I believe it. Close. Popped back. Brad did well to sit on that EFIS pitch. And that will also be fouled back. This guy's trying to hit us, man. Brock caught that one. No, I didn't. <laughs> caught it with my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Some places you pay That'll extra be for that. Foul. <laughs> if someone has a ladder, they're not going to grab that. Oh, oh it's going to come down. Keenan an 0-2 hole here. Got to got to watch the off speed here. Although I suppose everything in Whiffle's off speed. No, dude, they're throwing heat. That'll be grounded up the middle. Houston Schmutz is going to schmutz it. I think the ball missed Brad there as Houston did Schmutz did. His he did a cute there. little slide here. But uh, I'm curious why he didn't try to throw it at him. I think, yeah. he, I think he made an attempt after realizing he couldn't get him at second the uh, traditional way. Yeah, there's a lot of... If you're clumsy, wiffle ball is not for you. That's facts. Swing and a miss. One and one. It's okay, Mark. You still have two more strikes here. I'm doing positive. <laughs> positive for Mark now. That will be... What's the verb here? He gets on bag. He hit a single into the gap. He hit a single into the gap. Nice piece of hitting there from Mark, driving that off-speed pitch up the middle, just right of second base, and move the runners up in individual base. Bases are now loaded. The Pilots have put themselves in a juicy position here. You think uh, you think Dom's going to clutch this up? We s we've only got one out. Uh, I think we all know the answer to that. What? Maybe. Wow. <laughs> and I think, I think, I think Demiro's starting to feel it. He's feeling the pressure. It's the last series of the season. Seating's on the line, I think. Wolfpack don't have to deal with that. So I don't know the pressure of that. Yeah, that could be weighing on him. <coughs> And that'll be fouled. Hits the barn or shed. DJ's fouled off a couple pitches over there. He's a little late on these swings. It's a fraction of a second sooner, and that might win him the game there. And that'll hit the zone two strikes full count that'll be lined up to Dom and he makes the play at home no runners are going to cross home he really made sure that ball got there in time oh he was he was tweaking there a little bit <laughs> watch this right here oh wait missed the replay oh there it is Gotcha. <coughs> and we've got two outs here. Bottom of the third. I'll bring up the younger Campanero brother, Josh. Younger, much better looking Campanero brother. This looks at balls one and two.
What do you get? What are you sick? No. <laughs> okay. And that will be ground up the middle to Schmutz. Oh, he'll Schmutz it again. <laughs> <laughs> Missed him with the flip there. DJ was moving like lightning out there on the base passes. Josh Campanero comes up clutch, keeps this inning alive for the Pilots. They score a run. I don't. Yeah. They said he was safe. That's right. So Mr. Brad McGinnis will step up. Two outs. The bases are absolutely juiced. They are not juiced. What do you mean? Look at the base. Oh, that'll be a grounder to first. Schmatz is going to. Ooh. I think they got him. We'll have to take a look. We'll have to take a look at that one. That one's close. Brad was really trucking up the line like he wanted to get back to the pen. Oh. Oh, we froze it. Oh. Uh. uh. Yeah, I yep. think they got him. And they got him. Okay. Yeah. By a hair. By a hair. The mojo is able to get out of it. Wow. Nice play by Houston out there in the field to recover there and flip it over to first for the final out. It's the mojo avoid disaster there. Very say about nice that? play. And great job in the replay booth. Yeah. So well done. Very good job. Looks like the chat is loving the uh, the new. Oh my God! <laughs> Seems to be some sort of sewage leak in the booth. I'm not sure what it is. So game two is about to begin here.
And we're back here, game two. Yeah, so this is a this is a pretty big series for the pilots here. They need to win this series to uh, lock down the number one seed in uh, whatever conference they're in, because the uh, the Cyclones are hot on their trail. The pilots right now are sitting at 17 and eight, and the Cyclones are 16 and eight. Uh, so if the pilots get swept or lose this series, they p could potentially lose out on the number one overall seed as the Cyclones uh, will be playing the Peter McNeilis Stingers uh, next week. And we expect that they are the heavy favorites, to say the least. But, um, uh, yeah, the pilots need to take care of business here. What do you say, Brock? That they do. That they do. That they do. You know, these these pilots, for the majority of this, their, the season, were just you know, just a bunch of cocky, <laughs> overconfident. I mean, I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> I, 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 I'm gonna. You seem to know about I'm, that, though. I'm praying for the downfall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying. Yeah, well, I mean, they they've built themselves up a big lead in the standings here so they can afford they've been able to afford a couple losses imagine a postseason like just this. fall out like they lose to the wolf pack they're just yeah <laughs> wouldn't that be embarrassing <laughs> that'd be a pretty big L and that'll get them you know what they say Alex three strikes and you're out <laughs> that's what they say that is what they say DJ's feeling himself. He's feeling himself. Yeah, I would agree. And that'll be right down the middle for strike one. Up third base line, fair ball, throws to first, not going to be there. Really bit. tough play from Mark there. Uh, Swinging bunt, basically. Yeah, little known fact, Austin Whitehouse, um, his great-great-grandfather actually built the White House. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That That's why they call it insane. that. insane. Right? A little bit of history there for you. Yeah. It's a real. Learn something new every day here at the AWA. It's a real fact. I'm they should have included. Yeah, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> nice catch, Brock. Thank you. A little bit of athleticism there for you. I feel like they should have included that fact in the... Uh, and that... Will be... be blah, 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 blah. You know what they say, Alex. <laughs> Craig, you, you get up here. You know what they say. Three strikes and you're out. Right, Jack? And there's one strike. I feel like they should have included. Yep. Foul back. Foul back again. Boom. Hits the zone. Strike three. Pilots will come in. The chance to get ahead. DJ Oliver has really been locked in on the mound since the first inning of game one. Looks pretty unhittable there. I don't know, man. I feel like I could I feel like I could go yard off all these pitches, personally.
Well, we talked earlier about the uh, what's at stake here for the pilots. Uh, you know, the one C is very important. The Mojo, they do have an opportunity to jump the enforcers here for the four seed going into the playoffs. They're, uh, I think they're currently sixth right now. Um, but if they win this series, they can uh, potentially secure the four spot, depending on them. That wow. is back, back, back. That's gone. Keaton Wowzer. McKay goes yard. He hit that ball at least 500 miles an hour. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Dude, if I, if I was watching that pitch with my eyes closed, I would have instantly known that that thing was gone. Yeah, you could hear it off the bat. You he could hear it. Squared it up very nicely. Nobody was bringing that ball back. No, that thing's gone forever. Uh, but as I was saying, as we were discussing, um, depending on what the enforcers do next week, the Mojo could find themselves sitting at the four seed going into the playoffs, which is not a bad spot to find yourself in. Not at all. But the uh, the yeah the best seed is definitely the one you get that coveted by the rest up uh, face a uh, wild card opponent wild card winner. Um. Swings at that. It's all right. He had a green line. Full count now. Austin Whitehouse. We'll get him. Never mind. Never mind. No pitch. A little too hot. Mark will narc himself. What? <laughs> Get another chance at it. Jesus. Fouls it back. Staying in it. How many pitches? Is this like the six, six pitch on this one? Yeah. He's Seven. just trying to tire out that arm. Grounder, third base, Dom. Hands, ooh, fields it with one hand, unable to get to first. Mark's going to keep going to third. Wow, look at that. You don't see a lot of triples in wiffle ball, and he just did it. You get second. Second. And we're going to take Mark and get put him back on second. Just barely exited the f playable field. No, the ball is out of play, so it's just one bag. <laughs> Heater down the middle for strike one. Two good pitches in a row. Get them right here. Boom. Never mind. No pitch. A little too fast. And that'll be ripped up the middle. Go through Mark's legs. And Dom's going to throw it in. It'll be a single for DJ Oliver. Mark's going to... Pretty uh, pretty heads up play from Mark there to not get hit by that screamer there. Went it right his between legs. his legs. Look at that. Yep. But he'll advance to third. We got two men on. Two and one, I got. Hits him. We got three balls here, one strike. And Josh will take his bag. The bases are now juiced for Brad McGinnis, my favorite AWA player. Yes, sir. <laughs> and he'll 
to watch that pitch go by. If he can, he he's definitely taking a walk. These pilots live by the uh, or nothing rule. Oh, pops it up. White House is able to throw it in for the double play. That's just one out. Was that not a gr was that not a pop up? No. I'm sitting too low. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally sitting too low, dude. What are you, what are you I'm doing literally there? sitting too low. I. Th <laughs> 61. Man, the the spirits are really high. They're really high. That one was 59. Oh, and he'll go. Oh, God. Oh. It's another freebie. You know, I feel like sometimes the bat interferes with the speed because, I mean, those pitches don't don't feel like they're that. What's the count? Yeah. Two, two, two. One and two. One I have and one two. and two. Boom! Gets him. Hits the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh! Gets him. Two. <laughs> Use the force to move it back. Two outs. The camera will recover. Probably. After taking a hit to the noggin. One and one. Swings at a high ball, two and two. Two outs here for Mark Campanero. Bases are juiced. And the pilots are up by one. Can they get up a little bit more? Right up the middle, over White House. Dom tries to get the play at second, but Alex is not able to make the catch. And the Whoa. the throw into home is going to be a little too slow. <laughs> That'll put the pilots up. DJ steps up to the plate. Swings at the first pitch. One and two, two outs. Is White House able to take him out of the bottom of the first? Gets him. Strike three, that'll end the inning. <laughs> and the pilots will squeak in three runs in game two. Nice looking pitch there. Swing at strike one.
DJ's killing it. The pilot's got some momentum this game. I understand what's at stake. And he'll try to reach for that one. Unable to get it. One and two. Tough pitch to lay off there. Swings, misses. You know what they say, Alex. What do they say, bro? I don't know, man. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out. <laughs> Austin looks or swings through two pitches. Wait, what? Austin Boom. swings at that one. Three up, three down. I swear, it doesn't do anything. Jack's on some conspiracy theory action. Strike one. Strike two. Boom. Oh, Never man. Mind. No pitch. A lot of no pitches here. You know, if you get a speed check and they swing through it, you know, it's not a big deal. Gets Definitely em. went around there. Gets him. Got him that time. On a pitch that hit him, no less. So we move to the bottom of the second. We're good. There's Mark just had a question about the batting order. You guys are good. Here we are, bottom of the second. As Mark, little Mark, <laughs> Josh looks at the second ball. And White House was on a roll, but maybe something changed here. Get up the third baseline. Dom's not able to do anything with it. I don't think the mojo read the scouting report because Josh is not a pull hitter. He hits it the opposite way a lot of the time, and Dominic was playing way far back. You think about, about it that much when you're playing? No. 
I'm just repeating what Jack said before. He'll look at ball one and ball two. Brad, just a menace on the field and in the pen. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely on the field. He's the pen almost the swung his Brad. shoulder out right there. That's the tennis shoulder. You can't can't hurt that. Inside for ball three. Wow, nice pitch there. Full count, let's see if Whitehouse can bring it in, not quite. Mr. McGinnis will get on bag. Got a man on first and second. DJ will step up to the plate. Get pilots up by three. Here in game two, Moja took game one. That'll be up the middle over the pitcher. And Alex Hatch is able to make the play on second. Nice looking play there in the field. Outside there for ball one. That'll be popped up. Schmutz is not able to get to it, but he'll make the play. But a runner will come in. The ball's still in play. And that'll score two <laughs> runs. Not really sure what Houston was looking Yeah, not sure what, what Houston was looking at. The ball was still in play, and I think he was confused. He yeah. thought a foul ball meant runners wouldn't be able to move anymore, but that'll bring in two runs. I'll put the pilots up five to nothing. It'll be 62 and no pitch, a little too fast. <laughs> Keaton will have another, another swing at it. But that no, good. ball don't lie. <laughs> ball does not <laughs> ball lie. Ball does not lie. Hey, Mark. Yeah. The Padres are up one nothing. How'd they score? Uh, it sounded like a ground out, but we let the run score. <laughs> Moving to the top of the third here. Mojo down five here, last chance. Houston Smutch, Schmutz steps up, excuse me. What'd you call him? Houston Schmutz. Oof. Hits the zone. He'll Tough sit down, Schmutz. There. Not much he could do. Telling you, man, crowd the plate. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy, <laughs> dude. That's cr the aliens. Oh, that'll be right in the infield. Oh, it's kind of in a weird area. Dom will be Did safe not at hit him, yeah. first. Tough play in no man's land there. Brad. Alligator. Jeez. 
<laughs> Hits the top of the zone. Round to Mark at third, and he'll get him at first. He's watching Dom. Dom's going to advance to third base. That was a calculated throw right there. I thought it was a little too slow. Yeah, Mark really made sure that ball got there safely, and it still almost didn't get there in time. But that's what happens when you play wiffle ball. These balls go all over the place. That balls are all over the place. Some places you pay extra for that. <laughs> Mojo down to their last out. <laughs> Just getting word. You're actually getting suspended for that call. That's wow. That is super high. He'll get him. Did we catch that? We did. I hope we had a camera out there. That was a nice play by Brad. That, that was, was a very nice play. Highest ball you could hit. <laughs> Do you get that? And actually put uh put Hatch at second this time and White House at third. Welcome back. We are here for the rubber match. Mojo took game one. Oh, is DJ out? DJ is out this game. We just got word from team captain. He had to skedaddle. Well, DJ did his part. Pitched excellent in game one, one and two, unfortunately. Piles came up a little short in game one, but they got game two over the hump. They'll be sitting at 18 and eight now. Question. Question. 
one and one the count to Dominic DeMiro. Dominic putting his team on his back this year. He's going to have to continue to do it without Trey Clugston, team captain for the Mojo, out for the remainder of the year, including the postseason. Tough break for this Mojo team. Yeah, Trey, you know, a good leader, brings a lot to the table, is a wiffle ball player. Two two count here to Dominic DeMiro. Brad McGinnis on the mount here, the game three starter for the Pacific Pilots. As that ball is back, and it is out of here. Dominic DeMiro, double digits, home run total, 10 now on the year to give the Mojo the early 1 0 lead. And Alex, that's kind of where Brad McGinnis is running the trouble this year, the long ball. Yeah, that's what happens when you're. Uh, of a fireball pitch with the sliders, you know, and if you throw it hard, if they hit it, it will go just as hard and far. So it's, a, it's a high risk, high reward method of pitching. Because, you know, those, those slow pitches, slow breaking stuff, they can be hard to make solid contact with. You can't hit them as far. And there's another hard yeah. hit ball. And it looks, that was a lot wow. closer than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> but a heck of an effort behind the tree there. Just goes to show any ball hit in Keaton McKay's territory is no for sure single. 91 on the exit below there. That's Austin Whitehouse. 500. Yeah. Relatively. It's a strike right there, nasty pitch. Austin Whitehouse will step in wearing the mic there on his hat. Swinging right there and it's common knowledge in the AWA that if you wear the mic some people think it's bad uh, mojo, for lack of a better term. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't even know, believe that it's a uh, think anymore. I think it's just facts. And that'll be just right on there. <laughs> Strikeout right there, Austin Whitehouse. It's funny, when we were using the mic with the GoPro, it turned every player into a god. <laughs> we take the GoPro out and just the mic by itself. I don't know. You gotta find a balance there. Maybe it's just because we, we mic up someone every game and it's not like everyone is gonna have an excellent game every time. Yeah. So Jack, I gotta ask a um, <coughs> bit of analysis here. What's the uh, main difference as a commentator between you and your brother? Uh, I think, I don't even, oh, has that ball is safe and in play. Alex Hatch will advance to third. It's a good question, but uh, I think Brock's a little more emotional. <laughs> and, uh, he, he gets he gets offended very easily. He usually takes it out on his fellow color commentator and the players. Yeah, not very professional. <laughs> I say I'm a little bit more of a statistician, trying to bring stats into it, while Brock's just you know picking on people. So yeah, that's probably, you know, both are very uh, heavily important aspects in the industries. That is popped straight up and caught for the out. Alex Hatch is tagging, and he got him. Ooh. As that is a slippery right there, a double play from Keaton McKay. And that's why we tell our players not to wear cleats. It can only hurt you. Yeah. Yeah, plays at home. It's a little, a little dangerous, always scary. But heck of a play from Keaton there. It just brought it's where the plate is, and it has to be caught. Hey, we'll take care of it. But a great play there from Keaton McKay will limit the mojo to only one run in the top of the first inning as we head to the bottom. One nothing. <coughs> and here we go. Keen McKay fresh off the double play. It seems like every time he touches the ball in the defensive field, it's a highlight. And I'd argue Alex Hatch. That's a foul ball. Made the correct play there, tagging deep. Yeah. But you also got to realize there's only a few guys you probably shouldn't run on, and one of them is Keith McKay. Mm -hmm. It's like a, like a Dolus Garcia out there in the outfield. <laughs> got a howitzer for an arm. That's in play, and that will be an out. <laughs> Tried to do a little bit of the Javier Baez, <laughs> it appears. Mark Campanero will now step in. No point in running it. 
Mark Campanero, one of the biggest pull hitters in the league. That is fouled off. Mark's going to want that one back. That was a nice looking pitch there in the middle of the middle of the plate. Does not go. Thought about it. Will remain one in one count. It's it's funny when you look at Dominic's style of pitching. It's it's you know one thing to be a lefty. You know you don't see many lefties in the league, and you can tell when a lefty's really pitching well. It's harder to gauge just you know because there's not many times you get to see a lefty. But it's not like he he's known for his pitches. It's it's more like a timing thing with yeah speeding him up, slowing him down, and then kind of throwing him off with that Nestor Cortez delivery. Yeah, he's been you can tell he's been around the game a long time. He Got a lot of experience up there. He knows what he's doing. He can fool you in a lot of different ways. Does not go, and that will be a five-pitch walk to Mark Campanero to get a base runner here. Go ahead, run comes to the plate, in the form of Mark's brother Josh Campanero. That is that slow signature pitch from Dominic DeMiro. Josh was not fooled. Ball one. Inside 2-0, and oh, and I, you know, that's kind of Dominic's specialty is those slow pitches, tries to get people to swing, but where he has gotten in trouble, and it's it's just the batter's just not, not going for those, taking them, and then eventually he's going to have to start throwing some strikes. Yeah. As that is in play, oppo. Austin Whitehouse, like you were saying earlier, you know, Josh is one of those players that constantly hits at oppos. So yeah, no, I, the defense probably didn't know that. <laughs> you don't see many of those guys at any level, just pure opposite field hitters. They d I don't think they teach that. <laughs> yeah. As Bradford begins, we'll look at ball one. Starter here for the Pilots. And if the Pilots lose this game, it gets interesting for that one seed is that is fouled out of play two and one the Cyclones who have been very good all year in that current second seed spot playing the Stingers that's a strike right down the middle two and two who the Stingers have been hot lately because of Peter McNeil and Jordan Rice pitching abilities, but Peter McNeil will not be there. So that makes you think, can the Stingers, or can the Cyclones sweep the Stingers if the Pilots lose this game and take that number one seed? Yeah, it's gonna be a, gonna be a big question in that series, who's gonna pitch for the Stingers in, I'm assuming just one of those games, I'm assuming Jordan Rice will pitch both. Uh, not a lot of pitching experience elsewhere in that That roster. ball is going back and that's a dinger. That ball was so far up that tree. And that is a two-run shot for Brad McGinnis, giving himself back the lead. And you'd love to see that for Bradford McGinnis. He's had kind of a rough year hitting compared to last year, where he started so hot with five home runs. This year, just getting his, I believe it's his third home run already. But. Yeah, that was a, definitely a well-stroked ball there. Dominic left that one out. A little bit too far over the plate, Brad recognized it and sent it to the trees. And I was talking with Jake Oliver, captain of the enforcers earlier this year, and he said the biggest change this year is there's no pl players batting. You can just go to that get me over lob pitch. You know, in years yeah. prior, you, you could get some batters out just throwing a fastball right down the middle. Right there you saw maybe Dominic was trying to take advantage of a lower batting average. Left that right over the heart of the plate, and Brad made him pay. As that's in play, caught for the out, and we will head to the top of the second inning, but not after Brad McGinnis takes back the lead for the Pilots, two to one. Top of the second.
And here we go, getting ready to start the top of the second. Alex Hatch will lead it off. Nice hack right there. Fouls it off. Brad McGinnis still in the game here. Wait, I have Austin. Oh, pause. Austin with the current counter no. Okay. Austin will step in now. A bit of a lineup mishap. They they switched the order, and a and a the scorer got the position, but I guess they switched the lineup as well. But nonetheless, yeah, here we bad. go. I say the score as if it's a third party. <laughs> I think that's on the captain to make it clear. Be a ball right there. That is a hard hit ball and knuckled on Keaton McKay and maybe that lineup switch up helped him as he's going. He's safe. <laughs> we'll give him a double. Keaton McKay was tempting him to go and in that position, you know, that's a tough catch and tag regardless for the first baseman, Josh Campanero coming over. That ball is destroyed. Foul. <laughs> 0 and 1. Alex Hatch back to the county was a previous at bat ago. Yeah. Ball don't lie. No, oh, seriously. These balls are coming off hot. Got to look alive up here. Yeah. I catch them all. That's what I heard. <laughs> a little bit high right there, but. You know, one thing we see that's good from Brad is he is pounding the zone. And, and you know, as we can see so far, it has re resulted in some hard hit balls. But lack of walks, which is arguably the most important thing. So he doesn't go there, two and two. Yeah, I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking for future games, if it's not raining, it should be a no clean no policy because clean policy, yeah. there's really no added benefit. Just hurting yourself as he does not go there full count. Especially just with the concrete no. or stone, I don't know what material it is. I think that's that's all that it's done is just cause. I mean, <laughs> knock on wood, so far no one's gotten hurt there, but we've seen a lot of slips. Yeah. Got him. Strike three. That'll be one out in the inning. A big out for Brad McGinnis. Like they say, the first out of the inning is the most important. Houston Schmutz will step in and only played a couple of handful of games with the Stingers before his trade to the Mojo, but since coming to the Mojo, he's exploded offensively. Yeah, he's had a rough day at the plate so far, but let's see if we can get going against a different pitcher here. It was first series with the Mojo last week. As that is popped up by Mark, makes the catch. Looked like it might have started to drift back on him for the second out. Good adjustment. But he was hitting 571 with one home run. Pretty dang impressive. I would say yeah. one, of the, one of the better rookie single series performances until last week. Dylan Carroll facing your team, Alex, you, even though you were out with injuries. That's hard to Keaton for the single. We say in injury. <laughs> Wisdom teeth injury. Yeah. Dylan Carroll, did you see how many home runs he hit? Uh, in the series? It was more than one. It was in the series. It was five. It's pretty good. Not bad. Pretty good. You know, I don't want to asterisk or anything. You know, against the Wolf Pack <laughs> without their ace Alex Harden there. But who uh, who pitched the other game? Oh, I, I thought you drew up the game plan. <laughs> that was Jace for two games, and then Zach in a way. Oh, how would he do? Um, I mean. 
There's room for improvement, but <laughs> for debut, not bad. Didn't, didn't have an infinite ERA. Yeah, not an infinite ERA. Well, that's good. And to be fair, for the Wolfpack last week, they were not expecting, as that ball's fouled off, they were not expecting Moses Valdez to make an appearance. Yeah, that wasn't in the cards. Yeah, he said he w he, the, he, he'd just play first base, not be able to hit, catch. No, he, he batted, yeah. hit a home run, and pitched. And we're like, yeah, oh, Yeah, it's God. like the Jordan Flu series. <laughs> yeah, my goodness. As he gets him right there, strike three, and we are headed to the bottom of the second. Score remains two to one. Mark, Marcus Campanero. Mark, is it just Mark, or is your full name Marcus? Just Mark. Lame. Lame? My, my <laughs> name was Alex. Nope. It's Alexander, Marcus, Jackifer. <laughs> <laughs> Jackifer? Yeah. Is that, I thought it was what's Jacoby. So funny? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jacoby, uh, Jackson. Um, yeah. Well, wait, that was What did you say it was? Jackifer? Yeah. Is that a thing? I've yeah, never a, heard that. You know, it's a, I mean, it's my first name, so don't be rude. <laughs> no, I, I just, I've never heard of that. <laughs> so we ball one to Mark Campanero, and I think this is slowly becoming one of the more that's popped up. This Mark mojo. I want that one I back. Know. Just got under that. Hanging right there. He's not happy there. Let's say this mojo, Dominic DeMiro, pilot, Mark Campanero, starting to turn into a Sneaky rivalry. These games are always close between the yeah. Pilots and Mojo. But a good series so far, for sure. Mojo playing in their first season in the AWA. <laughs> <laughs> There's Josh that lovely pig. Could have golfed that one out. That would have been, would have been impressive. And that's in play to Dominic. He'll throw over to first and get Josh Campanero. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't hit that off, but right up the middle. You know, technically, if we're looking center of the field, and that was a little bit to the left, uh, I guess it's center center field. Left side of the mound. Yeah. It's not. It's not a pole. It's definitely not a pole. <laughs> <laughs> Which they that's, they don't teach that over on the pilots, I guess. Ball one. I feel like we should have a throwback uni day. <laughs> yeah. Gosh. Little little do people know the, the effort that went into those 2020 jerseys. They're pretty nice. That's one and two. On, Good looking pitch there. Had to, went to TJ Maxx, got all the shirts, and then printed all of those logos on a iron-on, cut every single jersey out, all those things, <laughs> and ironed them on. on so They're dumb. very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> so dumb. Very much worth it. With that side ball. Two, two, and two. Shout out to all everyone who bought one. I don't think we sold them back then. They were too custom. And that throws them right there. Strike three. And we're headed to the top of the third. Piles have a chance to close out the series and secure. And here we are getting ready to start the top of the third. Pilot's trying to close it out. Alex Hatch will be standing in the way as the tying run. Ball one from Bradford McGinnis. Brad gave up that solo, the solo home run to Dominic DeMiro, but got it all back with that two run shot. And the second is that's in play to Keaton McKay. Knocks it down, throws the first for the out. And that is huge for the Pilots and even huger for Brad McGinnis. He knew. That ball's hit anywhere near Keaton McKay. Brad's been locked in this game. I think one of the, the most uh, underrated aspects of Keaton McKay is, you know, we talk a lot about shifting. This ball's in play. Every time 
Oh, what a throw right there <laughs> by Keen McKay. Doesn't get him behind the back, but nonetheless, a great try right there of saying Keen McKay's moving around. He knows exactly where the ball's going. He shifted yeah. over to the you can tell he studies right film. field. Yeah, you know, he went to the right field over there twice. <laughs> Two balls went to him, and now he's back over to the left deep on Dominic, one of the few. Would have been a shifters. heck of a play there. Yeah. Houston's really trucking up the line good there. That is a play oh, almost God. playable. Could have been a tough play on the uh, concrete there. Glad that Mark, or sorry, Josh Campanero is not wearing yeah. cleats. That's what waivers are for, I guess. Yeah. 0 and 1. Does not go 1 and 1 count. Dominic would be the go ahead run. Outside again, two and one. As we're here in the last week of the season. I think MVP favorites, Dominic DeMiro, is definitely the top of that discussion. Trying to get the mojo to finish the 2023 regular season with a winning record. They're at 500 right now. Does not go, and that will be a walk for Dominic DeMiro. And up steps Austin Whitehouse. Bit of trouble here for the pilots. Two on, one out. Probably got to buckle down here. Mojo are one of those teams that just don't seem to go away. They Final inning, they're, they're definitely much more stingy, not swinging at some of those yeah. poorer pitchers they, they might have swung at early in the game as they... Austin looks at a strike right down the middle, 0-1. Fouls it off, 0-2. Right at 60 miles an hour there. Perfect pitch right there. That ball is going back, and that is a three-run home run for Austin Whitehouse to give the mojo the lead, four to two. We are going to have to go to the bottom of the third, but that is a huge home run from Austin Whitehouse, which makes this game very interesting. This game in the final week of the regular season has huge playoff implications. Mojo fighting right now to try to sneak into a better seat as that's popped up out of play. Almost looked like it could have been catchable there a little bit. But yeah, a little tough with smart the, uh, the overhang there. It was a little too close. Smart to lay off there. For safety reasons, yeah. Alex Hatch will step in and it's got to be huge for Austin Whitehouse, who's had a pretty tough season offensively, below 300. It's kind of the, the base for having a good season hitting versus a poorer season, I'd say 300, right? If you're hitting above 300, you're having a solid offensive yeah. season. For wiffle ball standards. Yes, yes. That ball is going back, back to back. Adam on, five to two, Mojo. Unfortunately for Brad, that's Had his struggles this season. It's been in the later innings. He's been pretty dialed in early. Because as they see him a little bit more, he throws a couple more of the part of the plate. Swing right there. And this is a this is a this is wild. I've, I've never seen a team like the Pilots so far, where they've seemed unbeatable the first two thirds of the season, and in the last three weeks, they have a losing record. They lost to the Nighthawks. They got swept by the Nighthawks. No, no, no. They lost two or three of the Nighthawks. That's popped up. Should be playable for Mark. Caught. Alex, is that two? Yeah, that's two. They've only won one game in the prior two series, and here they're trying to not lose another one, but they were, they were unbeatable. They had three losses 
They were fifteen and three. Yeah, they 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 were looking pretty invincible, but that's why you play the whole season. I've had some tough breaks in these later series for sure, but you gotta find a way to squeak out these games. Yeah, one thing's for sure, it all comes down to the pilots, DJ Oliver. They didn't have DJ against the Nighthawks, lost that series. DJ finally came back against the Enforcers, who are one of the hottest hitting teams. DJ was a little rusty. They have DJ back again today, and DJ did well. Unfortunately, they, they gave him the Felix Hernandez treatment. Couldn't give him too many <laughs> runs to secure the lead. So, two and one. Speaking of Felix Hernandez, Saturday, that's a hard hit ball. Yeah. Be a single for Dominic DeMiro. I like how Keaton kind of slowly goes to that ball, trying to egg him on. <laughs> <coughs> Austin Whitehouse making a joke up there. Looks at, swings at strike one right there. 0 oh and 1. Oh and 2. Right can't at 60 there with the high cheese. Well, you can't hit another home run. Unless you're swinging. I think that's Austin's that's tasted true. the the juice and he wants <laughs> some more. Does well to karate chop that one off. Remains at 0 and 2. Got him. Strike three. And we are headed to the bottom of the third. Pilots need three to tie, four to walk it off. Keaton McKay will lead it off for the Pilots. And the Pilots last year and the year before led the league and come back victories. This team never quits. DJ Oliver's not here. DJ unfortunately doesn't have the, I think DJ has the lowest average on this Pilots team for some, some weird reason is Keen looks at two strikes right down the middle. You can see right here the approach for this Pilots team. It's, it's patient. Yeah, they're gonna draw these at bats out. Off the foot, foul ball. Uh, yeah, gotta gotta extend the inning however you can. Just wait for your wait for your pitch. And attack. Keaton McKay very stingy. His average has taken a bit of a hit later in the year, but his on base still remains very high. That goes low. One and two. Two and two. Got him. Strike three on the slow riser right there. One out. And Keaton McKay has been taken care of. Mark Campanero will step in, who's walked and flown out in this game. And one of the key abilities for Dominic DeMiro this year has been his whip. You know, sometimes he will give up a lot of runs, rarely. But he will, and that is usually just because of the long ball. Very few times does he have the bases loaded up. He knows how to kind of elicit those swings like he just saw right there with Keaton McKay. We see it again, the slow kind of curve ball thing there. Throws it like one at least. It's right back there. In not, the probably not going to give Mark anything yeah. over the play here. He's going to try not to at least. Yeah, when he's looking at this lineup. And that ball is going back. Caught. That looked like it might have had a chance. And unfortunately for Mark, he hit it to the deepest part of the field. 108. I know it says 105, but the eight <laughs> when we were making it. 
ran out. <laughs> or we ripped it. <laughs> Little known fact there, but that looked like it would have gone out. Definitely. Yeah. In any other part of the almost field. Almost hit the tree up there. <laughs> if you hit the tree, we probably would have called it a dinger there. That is true. The only difference between Brad's home run, it had a little bit of a lower launch angle. Yeah. And now Josh Campanero steps in, fouls it off. 0 oh 1. Nasty pitch right there, strike on the inside corner, 0 oh 2. Yeah, I think that's the 105 you're talking about that's yeah. actually 108. <laughs> Big fight off right there. 0 2 remains the count. And Josh Campanero, despite what happens here today, this is his best regular season he's ever had. High 300s average. Yeah, he's really improved as a hitter. Love to see it if you're the Pilots. And that is fouled again. Like he said, Alex Hatch over there waiting for the pole. Don't know if you're going to get it. Got him, strike three, and that will end the game. The Mojo pull off the upset, get to 14 and 13, and we'll move into that fifth, fourth seed, depending on what happens, Nighthawks Enforcers on Monday. But a huge series right there, and the bigger story right there is the Pilots losing the series. They've lost three straight series, and now the Cyclones with a sweep can take the number one seed from the pilots. They have a chance to control their own destiny. That'll do it tonight. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We will see you back Monday, Wednesday next week, and then Thursday will be the wild card game, Stingers Wolfpack, to kick off the 2023 playoffs. Bye, everyone.